Alright, Matt, let's chapter uh, 4 talks about 12 memorial stones from the Jordan. When all the nation had finished passing over the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, Take twelve men from the people from each tribe of men, and command them, saying, Take twelve stones from here out of the midst of the Jordan, from, from the very place where the priest's feet stood firmly, and bring them over with you, and lay them down in the place where the lodge, or where you lodge tonight. Then Joshua called the twelve men from the people of Israel, whom he had appointed a man from each tribe. And Joshua said to, to them, Pass on before the ark of the Lord of your God into the midst of the Jordan, and take up each of you a stone upon his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the people of Israel, but that this may be a sign among you. When your children ask in time to come, what does those stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord. When it passed over the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off, so these stones shall be to the people of Israel a memorial forever. The people of Israel did just as Joshua commanded, and took up twelve stones out of the midst of the Jordan, according to the number of the tribes of the people of Israel, just as the Lord told Joshua, and they carried them over with them to the place where they lodged, and laid them down there. And Joshua set up twelve stones in the midst of the Jordan, in the place where the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant had stood, and they are and they are there to this, to this day, so to this day those, those stones are still there. Very amazing. For the priests bearing the Ark of the stood in the midst of the Jordan until everything was finished that the Lord commanded Joshua to tell the people according to all that Moses had commanded Joshua. The people passed over in haste, or in, or in hurry, and when all the people had finished passing over, the ark of the Lord and the priests passed over before the people. The sons of Reuben, the sons of Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh passed over armed before the people of Israel, as Moses had told them. About 40,000 ready for war passed over before the Lord before the Lord for battle to the plains of Jericho. On that day the Lord exalted Joshua in the sight of all Israel. They stood in awe of him just as they had stood in awe of Moses all the days of his life. And the Lord said to Joshua, Command the priest bearing the Ark of the Testimony to come up, to, to come up out of the Jordan. So Joshua commanded the priest come up out of the Jordan. <clears throat> and when the priest bearing the Ark of the Covenant and the Lord came up from the midst of the Jordan, and the soles of the priest's feet were lifted up on the dry ground, the waters of the Jordan returned into their place and, and overflowed all of its banks as before. The people came up out of the Jordan on the tenth day of the first month, and they encamped at Gagel on the east border of Jericho. And those twelve stones which they took out of the Jordan, Joshua set up at Gagel. <clears throat> and he said to the people of Israel, When your children ask their fathers in time to, to come, what do these stones mean? Then you shall tell your children no. Uh, hold on, so then you shall tell your children no. Israel passed uh, over this Jordan on dry ground, for the Lord God, for Lord, for Lord your God dried up the water of the Jordan before you until you passed over, as the Lord your God did to the Red Sea, which He dried up for us until we passed over, so that all the people of the earth may know the Lord uh, that the hand of the Lord is mighty, that you may fear the Lord your God forever. So the reason why God told Joshua to to uh, to, to uh, pick twelve men to, to pick twelve stones from the Jordan, um, and then of course um, was was of course so that whenever um, Israel seen God doing all these things, they could all live in a holy fear of Him, meaning that meaning that so they would so they wouldn't want to sin against Him, uh, but continue living in repentance for God. But of course, later on we see in the Bible that Israel rebels against God so bad that Israel, Israel had, or that God has to send uh, a foreign country, Babylon or Iraq, into Israel to destroy it, and then put the Jews back in slavery. So yeah, which means basically, if, if you continue to stand on repent, God will. You know, if, if you're saved, God will discipline you. If you continue to stand and not repent, He will discipline you. He did that. He did. He did that to me. But if you're not saved and, and you can. If you, and you continue with sin and you hate God because there's no repentance in your heart. So anyway, that's chapter 4 um, about the 12 stones from the Jordan. And um, chapter 5 will be next year.